Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel from House to Homestead. Today's project is going to be essentially part three of the kitchen spruce up that we've been working on. In the first video, we filled in the gap behind the range and put up the side panel here. In the second video, we put the um, installed a panel to cover the back side of the cabinets here as well as put in an electrical outlet and I got the backsplash put up behind the stove and then in in doing that I had things painted white and um, well the two projects here I painted them white primered them actually and then lived with it for a few days to see how I liked it and I really felt like the white just wasn't wasn't what I wanted. So I went and found a paint color that I personally is one of my favorite colors that I thought would also look good um, on cabinets. And I got myself a little quart of it. Just didn't want to, you know, commit by buying a crazy amount. And I painted the side panel and the back panel here, um, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. And I really, really like it. So what I decided is I'm going to go ahead and paint the cabinetry. My plan is to paint all of the lower cabinets this turquoise color. I'm going to start with the island today. Uh, I should be able to get the island done today. And then we're going to kind of go through step by step. I'm not sure if I will show me working on the rest of the cabinets, but I would like to share with you the island and see how it turns out. And I may decide that I really just want to paint the island that color and the rest in the cabinetry white. I haven't really quite decided yet, but let's get started with the island and see how we do. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sand all of the surfaces that we want to paint. So I've got some 100 grit sandpaper here and I'm just gonna sand down every single surface. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not trying to completely take away the, um, the, the stain that's on here. I'm not even trying to completely sand away the um, varnish or shellac or whatever is on the um, cabinet. I'm basically just trying to um, smooth it down and scratch up the surface but you know rough up the surface so that the primer has something to adhere to want a smooth surface to paint on whatever is left behind whether it's a divot or a bump like something sticking out or something stuck to it or something like that it's going to show in your paint so you want to at the very least to have a perfectly smooth surface if there's any any sort of gloss you want to knock the gloss off um, so that it's it's dull it's flat um, there's no sheen to it and it's smooth then what you're what we're, I'm going to do is I have this um, it is all-purpose heavy-duty cleaner but this is designed for um, pre-painting surfaces so it doesn't leave a residue behind that you then have to try to clean the residue off with a lot of cleaners there's they it leaves a residue behind this does not so then we're going to thoroughly wipe down all the surfaces with this um, make sure it's clean and dry then i'm going to go through and primer everything and then probably two coats of primer then um, when that's dry, we'll start the process of painting. Uh, it will probably take two coats of the paint color as well. So, all right, here we go.
needed. My putty is kind of old. It seems like once you break the seal the first time and open it up, no matter how tightly you close it back up, it still dries out. But I think I've got enough still pliability still in this stuff that I can use it. I've been, every time I use this, I've been dripping a little bit of water into it to try to keep some moisture in it. I wonder if I have to think of a way to try to keep it moist. If any of you guys have any ideas about how to keep your putty from drying out in the jar after you open it the first time, would love to hear, hear it. Now I know that I have the same problem on the other side of the island as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over there and do the same thing and it's not going to be perfect and that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but at least it fills this little gap right here between the, the two different types of material. And then when I smooth it, sand it down, it'll have just a nicer transition and that little gap will be filled in so it won't be so obvious. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side. All right, so it took a little bit of work, um, maybe, maybe an hour's worth of work, um, but I got all the surfaces sanded, cleaned, um, and I even got this edge here sanded as well as the other side, got that melamine roughed up and then got the, the edging here sanded. So now it's time for primer. You're using cabinets that are gonna be like permanent. They make an extreme bond primer that would probably be worth spending the money to get. It's way more expensive than regular primer. But when I painted the cabinets in my old kitchen, um, I used that and it worked really, really good. I'm just gonna get this up here. close to the edge. I think I should be able to get the rest of it with um, the roller. So I like using, um, for this type of job, I like using the smaller, um, skinnier rollers. I find that they are a little bit easier to control.
All right, so we got two coats of primer on um, everything, and so now it's time to um, start with the first coat of the cabinet paint, and so here we go. Well, guys, here it is. I love it so much. I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of the cabinets. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this gave you some inspiration to try your own project. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them um, below. I would love to hear from you. And um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.